Hello smart rational investors! If your dog is tired of getting his food on his own, then watch my videos and subscribe to the channel. Take care of your dog! You love to receive dividends on your account, right? And I too, it seems that I have become a little richer. It seems as if this money came out of thin air like the plot of this video. When you buy a stock or assets, you always think about how you will profit from it. If a company doesn't pay dividends like Facebook or Alibaba, you're waiting for the share price to rise. Or when the company finally starts paying dividends, then you will get rich. It's probably counterintuitive. But if the company paid out $50 million in dividends to its shareholders, how much did the company's stocks drop in price? Clever girl or a boy, $50 million because money does not come out of thin air. What is the meaning of a corporation? Bring profit to shareholders, for them the company exists. Not for employees, they have a salary, and not for customers. For them the company produces goods or services. But the shareholder is the main one. He gets a profit. Let's go back to the basics. The point of investing in stocks is receiving the dividends. This is the basic idea of the corporation. Traditionally, people have bought stocks for this purpose. Sadly, now many do not understand this theme at all. They must think, here I will buy shares, what for? Well, the price will increase, I will sell, and earning a huge amount of money, I will buy Boeing aircraft or yacht. Would you be investing in stocks if there was no way to get your investment back? So the main thing is dividends. They're the driving force. But one moment here. There are two identical companies, for example. One pays dividends, the other does not. Which one do you prefer? Mathematically, they will be exactly the same regardless of the dividend payment. And if necessary, you can simply sell a share without dividends for the same 3% per annum. For example, which the first company paid. After the dividend cutoff, the company's share falls by exactly the amount of dividend. After subtracting the daily volatility. If there is no difference, then what makes us buy and want dividend stocks? Damn it! There is a three or four reason for this. By definitely not five. <laughs> First, we like to feel the real profit. If you receive $500 in dividends from your shares, you are happy. Even if my shares also just increased by $500 in value. You feel the profit is fixed. But what is about the stock price? Today it will be here and tomorrow it will collapse again to the purchase price level, right? Alpha, if I need payment. I would simply sh sell shares or an ETF for the same amount or what I need. What's the difference? No difference generally. But what if a crisis hits and the stock falls? I will receive dividends without selling second shares and you, smart guy, will have to sell. Huh? Eat this. First you feel a sense of stability. False stability, I'll tell you. In fact, this stability doesn't exist. Financial markets are full of uncertainty, instability and volatility. And only we brokers from Staten Oakman can take you through the turns. Uh, sorry, this is not from here. Receiving the same dividend payments every period, be it a quarter or a month, will feel confidence in the future and comfort as in a jacuzzi with the um, champagne. Although, in fact, we are just withdrew the money from the shares. Because there is no money out of thin air, unless you are a manufacturer of a scuba gear. What happens when a stable dividend paying company faces business difficulties? We recently saw what happens to dividend kings like an AT&T who are just thinking about cutting dividends. During the week the shares went down by more than 15% down. The company will fall more strongly because it needs to allocate money for dividends from its financial flows. And how many companies at all stop paying dividends due to difficulties in business? A stable and guaranteed flow of money from stocks happens in beautiful prospectuses 
movies or in a dreams. It's all a chimera. And on sources um, such as Seeking Alpha, there is an excellent total returns section. And you should be looking at the overall profitability index, not the company's dividend or growth. If you want to maximize your income, of course. This is precisely the third reason why investors choose dividend stocks and strategies. A beautiful tale with a mixed ending. You are lying on the beach, probably in your underpants or without doing nothing around the sun, palm trees, yoga and cocktails. Peach, pears, plums, oranges and companies plow and pay you generous dividends. No, well, it's beautiful, but what? Capital is certainly needed for this, but not necessarily dividend shares. As I said, I can also just sell shares and it will be equivalent to receiving dividends. You can think of the dividend gap after the ex-dividend date or use a calculator to figure it out. Probably during a crisis, it will be easier for a dividend investor to keep his shares and assets that bring regular dividends. Perhaps there is some research on this topic, but I have not found one yet. I know from myself on deep drawdowns, it was very pleasant that despite the falling portfolio, dividends remained the same, in absolute terms. After all, stocks can stop falling, why sell them? Prices can return to their previous figures before the crisis and an investor who remembered this is calmer and does not sell assets at the worst moments. That is during downturns. I love to look at my dividends received at the beginning of each month. Well, it's nice to look at the money. But the rational investor inside of me remembers that this is not free money at all. It's like selling shares, just an everything, just in a festive package. We all saw tubers that were filming a video after receiving dividends. They say it was 4th of July and I received 100 in dividends. I earned money. What did you earn there, man? Your shares fell in price by exactly those 100 dollars, friend. Or is it wrong to upset people with math? Mathematics, I say. Do you think this is human at all? Write me your opinion in the comments, please. And of course, don't forget to like this video, although it's not over yet. But I tried very hard to make this video happen and be useful to you. What about taxes? Every time you receive a dividend, you pay taxes. And then you rein these dividends by buying maybe the same shares. But you've already paid some of the capital gains tax, right? In the case of non-dividend securities, I don't have to pay capital gains tax until I sell the securities, right? The assets. The company did not pay dividends and reinvested this money within the company itself. And perhaps on very favorable terms to which we do not have access. As for example, it happens in the case of buying some bankrupt real estate or large buildings for very low mortgage payment. With existing lease payments, companies can acquire some good companies on tasty conditions. And if um, suddenly the company has nowhere to invest, it will store money in its account, waiting for the profitable deal or product. And it's uh, not always a bad thing to wait for the right moment. Especially when you know what you are doing. They will buy some kind of reliable bonds, for example, to protect themselves from inflation. But this money will be in the company's accounts. And of course, the value of the shares ta takes uh, into account any kind of cash, cashins of this kind from the company. Apple, for example, amassed hundreds of billions of dollars of the United States of America at one time. Subscribe if you want the same amount of money. I very appreciate your attention and hope you will treat dividends right after this video. How is it to properly handle dividends? We will discuss it in the next videos. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos, I guess. Thank you and have a good day.